I'm going to take a stroll down memory lane today. I was 19 years old when I moved out of my parents' home and I had my first apartment, my first kitchen. I was able to cook for myself. I have to admit I wasn't much of a cook back then. A lot of what I ate uh, came out of a box. It was boxed mixes like, you know, macaroni and cheese in the blue box. You know what I'm talking about. Well, there was one that I really, really, really liked, Noodles Romanoff. It was, back then it was called Noodle Roni. They eventually changed the name to Pasta Roni. I'll put the box over here to show you what it looked like. And I really, really liked this stuff. I loved it. Um, but it didn't last forever. And Betty Crocker, I can show you that box too. Betty Crocker had a version as well. But the one that I always found in the store was the Noodle Roni or a Pasta Roni. Okay. It hasn't been in the store for ages. I don't think I've seen it for decades in any store. And I certainly haven't tasted it in all that time. I happen to be looking for groceries on Amazon. And because I'm buying... A lot of my groceries online rather than going to the store because of this pandemic and I noticed something that I hadn't seen before this is a Hoosier Hill Hoosier Hill farm product this is powdered sour cream and I when I saw that I thought that's the missing link that's what I'm looking for to make my noodles Romanoff I ordered this and I've ordered this before this is Big Daddy, same company, Hoosier Hill Farm, Big Daddy Max, Mac Mix. It's a, um, it's a cheese mixture that um, is from making macaroni and cheese. And I know I'm going to need a little bit of onion powder and a little bit, maybe a, just a tiny pinch of garlic powder. But that's what, was, that's what was available back then when I bought Noodles Romanoff. It was noodles in a cardboard box. There was a paper sachet or packet that was the flavor packet. You'd cook the noodles, drain them, put the uh, flavor packet, empty that into the pot, add a little bit of butter, quite a bit of butter if you wanted, I always did, <laughs> and then some, uh, maybe a quarter cup of milk, stir it all up, add some salt if you'd like, and that was noodles rumping off. So I'm thinking now that I have this stuff, I'm going to make my own noodles rumping off. But the one difference, this isn't going to be quite as vulgar. <laughs> as the stuff that came out of the box. I just happened to have in my refrigerator one packet of homemade pasta dough. This has got a date on it um, because I wanted to just date it. Pasta dough doesn't last long in the refrigerator if you just wrap it in cellophane or cling film, saran wrap. But if you vacuum seal it, which I did this, it'll, it'll keep in the refrigerator for a week or more. This is dated January 21st. Today is the 28th. Today's the 29th. This has been in the refrigerator for eight days, and it's still that creamy color pasta dough. So I'm going to use this to make fresh noodles, but otherwise I'm going <laughs> to insult them by making my noodles Romanoff flavoring packet. So let's make noodles Romanoff. I don't know how much of each of these to use. Um, but I'm going to start off with a quarter cup of each. I haven't even opened these yet. Does this peel off? It looks like it might peel off. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Clean that up a little bit. I'm going to use, I think, a quarter cup of each to start off with. I don't know what that is by weight. Um, I suppose I could weigh it in grams and let you know in grams what it is. But I don't know that I'm going to be using this uh, video on my Mobile Home Gourmet channel. I'm using it on my um, Kitchen Vlog channel. Because I'm doing this more for fun than trying to get a cooking video. I got it started. This one's a little bit tighter, glued on better. All right. I'm not going to be able to clean that up, and I don't care. Okay, another quarter cup. This is my 
um, sour cream powder. I want to taste that. Where's my red handle tasting spoon? I'm just curious what this tastes like. Tastes sort of like sour cream. Sort of like. All right. And I've got onion powder here. I'm going to start off with maybe, what's this, three quarters of a teaspoon? And then I've got some garlic powder here. And maybe, maybe half a teaspoon or less. Garlic powder just doesn't seem to be a predominant flavor in this mix. Stir that up. It's the right color, if I remember my colors accurately. And I'm not going to taste that. But I can always mix up more. That does seem like a lot, but that's... I've got a lot of pasta. So next thing I need to do is roll my pasta. Open up my pasta here. And by the way, if you hear a soft patter on the roof, it's raining here. I live in a mobile home and these metal roofs are noisier than your average home when it comes to rain and hail. Okay, there's my pasta dough looking nice. Got some flour here and a duster. This is actually like a powdered sugar duster. Um, I never use it for powdered sugar, but I do use it for making pasta. Before I roll it into the, or roll it through the machine, I give it a dusting of flour. Not a lot. You don't want to give it a slimy surface when you boil it. Okay. All right. And then start rolling my pasta. This, by the way, this pasta is the equivalent. It was one egg and enough all-purpose flour and pasta flour, Durham wheat semolina, that uh, enough to make a dough. That's the only way I can describe it. I'm going to roll this to number four. Meanwhile, I have water heating on the stove. There's number four. I'm going to give this one more light sprinkling of flour. The water heating on the stove, heating to boiling, and um, when it's hot enough, I'll put my noodles in there. Okay, number four. Okay, so there he is. My sheet of pasta. Now I'm going to move this over to the noodle cutter. And where's my knife right here? I'm going to cut this into pieces because I don't want really long noodles. There's an ant chasing ants in my home. Because it's raining outside, so they're coming indoors. I have to set up an ant trap for them. There's an uncle. Okay. Now, run these through the cutters. Um, my cutters don't work super well. I usually have to separate them because 
they are like cut in pairs that are somewhat stuck together. But you get the idea. I have these four more pieces of pasta to cut and separate. I can dust those lightly with flour just to keep them from sticking together. And when my water comes up to the boil, it's getting near. I'll boil my pasta. I feel like doing it this way. I'm dividing the last of my noodles here. And something I'm going to mention, it always causes some consternation. I did not put any salt in the water that I'm going to use to cook my noodles. And I've been in a debate about that with people. Oh, you go to salt the water when you're cooking pasta. You do that when you cook dry pasta. Read the package ingredients. It says no, doesn't say salt. There's no mention of salt. So you use salted water because the dry pasta is going to absorb that water and you want to get salt into the pasta for the flavor. This isn't going to absorb hardly any water at all because it's fresh. and It's going to cook in a minute or two. So you put salt in the pasta dough so that when you cook it, it'll have that little bit of salt in it for flavor. All right, I'm done with my pasta machine. I can put this away. Oh, my water's just coming to the boil. Okay, good. I'm going to drop my noodles into my boiling water. Okay, as soon as that water comes back to the boil, I'm going to set a timer for two minutes, and that should be plenty of time to cook my pasta. Hear that rain coming down? It's coming down pretty hard now. So here are my cooked and drained noodles. I have no idea what to expect here. I'm just going to throw all of the sauce in there. The sauce mix. And then what do the directions usually say? Put in some butter. Maybe a tablespoon or two of butter. And then a little bit of, they used to say a quarter cup of milk. About like so. And I'm not sure if that's going to thicken at all. But it looks like it is. So I'll just sprinkle some salt in there. And then finish stirring this up because there are some lumps in there. It doesn't need any thickener. Look at that. I'm going to plate this. Where's my spoon? It's over here. bit on the counter. I'm ready to have my lunch. It's 10 minutes to noon. It doesn't taste exactly like I remember the noodles Romanoff that came out of the box. But then I'm not using any kind of artificial flavoring or anything like that. But it's good. It's good. So excuse me, I'm going to go enjoy my lunch of noodles Romanoff. <laughs>